Naval or against this injustice, the naval forces of the Yemeni armed forces carry out an operation against a ship, an American ship in the Gulf of Aden with a number of appropriate naval missiles and the targets were hit accurately, thank God, which led to the ship in goal, being engulfed in flames. This came after the crew of the ship did not respond to the warnings of the Yemeni naval forces and hence the Yemeni armed forces renews its warnings for all of the ships to respond to the calls of the Na Yemeni naval forces and all the naval crews or all those crews must leave after being struck with the first hit. The Yemeni armed forces will continue in doing their religious and ethical and human duty in supporting the Palestinian people who are subject to an oppression and its operations in the Red and Arabian Sea will not stop except when the aggression stops and when the siege on the Palestinian people in Gaza is lifted and God is with us. Long live Yemen as a free, liberated country. Victory for Yemen and all free people of the world. Sanha, the 25th of Sha'ban, 1445 in the Hijra calendar, 6th of March 2024. Statement issued by the Yemeni Armed Forces. Yemeni um, Army spokesperson Yahya Sari uh, with a statement there. Um, he has talked about how. They carried out an operation against a U.S. ship with naval missiles this, uh, in the Gulf of Aden, led to the ship being engulfed in flames. The reason is that the crew did not respond to the calls made by the Yemeni armed forces and that they will continue carrying out their human duty um, in the Red and Arabian Seas uh, in solidarity and uh, to support the Palestinians. We're going to